chapter 11. I'm not even going to look because I know the story. So do you. Everybody knows this. Even people in the world know this. Jesus Christ heard that his friend, Lazarus, was sick. I don't know what your theology is, but most Christians say, well, he should have run right off. He should have showed right off. Jesus said, let's wait. It's not time yet. It's about the glory of God. The story, the account of Lazarus is not about Lazarus. It's about the glory of God. It's about the glory of Jesus Christ. So let's wait. A lot of here, people here in the church get upset because Jesus is waiting for a time when what's going on in your life will glorify Him. Because you want to know something? It's not about you. It's about Him. The Word of God says, you all know this one. He will lead you in paths of righteousness. Do you know that verse? Psalm 23? Yeah. Just on high They can't hear me. They're not, they're not responding at all. Do you know that verse? Yes. He leads me in paths of righteousness. For His name's sake. It's not about you. It's about Him. The church has thought for too long that it's about the church. We thought it's about us. It's not about us. It's about Him. Jesus Christ waited until Lazarus was not only dead, He waited until Lazarus was good and dead. Four days dead, stinking in the tomb. And He went. And He told him, roll away the stone. Thank God for the people who came before us who rolled away the stone. You see, God used other people in our lives to prepare for His call in our life. You know that? All the saints that have gone on before us, we're only one body. We need to begin to appreciate one another. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jesus stood in front of that tomb and He cried with a loud voice, Lazarus! Oh, I'll get to the comfort part. What he cried out was Lazarus. Because you see, that's when Lazarus came to life. I've heard people say that if Jesus had not said Lazarus come forth, all the dead would come out. You ever hear that? Yeah. It's not true. <laughs> oh, it's not true. You see, nothing ever happens until you hear God speak to you. Yes. Lots of people will go and they'll hear sermons and they'll hear what the preacher says to the congregation they'll never hear God speak to them. Ooh. And until they hear God speak to them, nothing, nothing, nothing happens. So he called Lazarus by name. Lazarus! And Lazarus, dead four days, stinking, wrapped in the garments of death, came to life in that tomb. Then Jesus said, Come forth. You see, first there was the call to life, then there was the command. We have been called into life to serve Him, to obey Him. There's not a lot of teaching in the church today about obedience. But if Lazarus hadn't obeyed, he'd been alive, he'd still be sitting in that dark hole too. He had to obey God to come out into the light.